Hi and welcome. Uh, my name is Dratlaw44. Um, today I am going to be talking about um, a method that I use to farm uh, smithing texts and of course mystic arts off certain bosses as well. Now this works for end of stage bosses uh, rather than individual jewels because again you can just fight them, beat them, rinse and repeat. Um, so I'm using a submission in uh, region 6 for this example. Uh, this one uh, you team up with uh, Moyeda Kinji or Kenji um, for sort of like um, a while you beat some yokai which is great um, and then you fight him at the end. Now that's the bit that I'm going to be of course uh, showing you there. Um, it's exactly what to do if you don't get the, the things that you then would want. Now as you can see he's then talking about joining forces with you like I said so that's all good um, and that's when you, you then go into uh, the arena type thing to fight some enemies. Now one of the big things is of course um, you know with farming smithing techs it helps to know which ones you actually want. Uh, within the case of uh, Maeda Kenji's um, he drops a vermilion spear and eccentric armor. Maybe not the best ones but uh, might be something you're after so if it is uh, that's where you get them. Um, but then for like me uh, Mystic Arts of Tokichiro for example um, I can use this technique to actually farm that as much as possible. Now, something that I would always uh, recommend, of course, um, like with anything, is to boost up as much as you can. Now, this is always advisable in New Game Plus, I'm not going to say it, it isn't. It can be done in the normal mode, but of course, apparently the drop rate is supposed to be better in New Game Plus. Now, I don't know exactly how much different it is or how much better. Um, that hasn't really been necessarily confirmed, but it is supposed to be, you know, much more reasonable. Uh, so what I tend to do is, like with anything with um, armor pieces, um, I will stack up um, item drop rates. Um, you can put item drop rates or item drop rates from humans um, if you're fighting a human, or item or drop rates from yokai. I think is another one as well. Um, but yeah, it's all about boosting them. So I mean, I have um, stats. Uh, item drop rate on my hand cannon, um, I have item drop rate boosts on my rifle, I have like two, uh, one from humans and one from normal. Um, I'll put the shrine to materials um, to of course try and gain as much more as I can there. Um, I'll put it on my armor pieces, I have it on like three armor pieces for item drop rates. Um, and then of course like the T utensils are another thing as well. And that's purely just to boost your luck because um, again luck is a really good one. Now I would always say to use um, the Omnia Magic, uh, the Luck Talisman as well, uh, because again, it's going to boost your luck just that little bit more. And it helps, you know, at the end of the day, um, any boost that you can get um, are all going to make that little bit of a difference. Doesn't mean it's going to guarantee it, uh, but it means that there is that chance. And that's all you want really, isn't it, you know, uh, that chance to win those items that you actually want. Um, and the Mystic Arts, you know, they are really, really good. I got the one off uh, Sayoto uh, a while back, um, and that one boosts my Amina uh, if I, like, do a grapple move or finish it on a human person, um, and it's amazing. Um, and there are some other ones as well that are really good. So, you know, they're well worth looking out for. Whatever weapon you use, it is definitely something that is going to make a game changer, shall we say. Um, so, yeah, so um, I'm just moving on to the uh, next arena. Um, you could have, if you have done the nine uh, symbols um, dojo mission um, and you have the either the faster um, sort of like duration of magic or you know like the faster speed to do it uh, or the extended length, you could use the extended length when farming because again uh, it just means it takes a bit longer, uh, your luck talisman should last uh, throughout that fight or at least to give you a good chance. Uh, so as you can see in the background, you know, lots of enemies to kill in this example. Usual arena type style things, nothing that exciting. Um, and literally, yeah, I mean, good old yokais, good old yanambas, yeah, you got to love them. Um, so yeah, once, the, once these are all down, this is basically going to be like one Tengu to kill. And then I can actually show the exact example. Now the reason why I've run through the whole level is because what I want to show you is actually how you would do it. And this is an example if you were taking a full level and you were like fighting a boss or whatever. It's exactly the same. It will work identically, uh, which is really, really good. So, uh, yep, the Enki is now dead. That's fantastic. Uh, Going to take out the Tengu as soon as possible. Um, use the Yatsu to try and poison the enemy because let's face it it's always a good thing uh, so yeah
Okay, so Tengu should be almost dead, uh, if I remember. Yep, there we go. He now dies. Okay, so basically now um, it would be a fight um, with Maida. Um, he is going to challenge me to a duel in this example. Now, one of the really important things with this, and this works with any boss door at all, um, is to make sure that you pray at the shrine first. It makes common sense. I'm sure it's something that most of you do anyway. However, um, it's really, really important that each time you fight this guy or boss or whatever, that you're praying at that shrine. Uh, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to just cast my magics, um, literally then fight him. Uh, you're going to see three fights, and it's going to be showing uh, basically what I do to try and give myself a chance at getting a smitting text. Uh, so I set up all my magics. Uh, I use Carnage, Power Pill, uh, Steel Talisman. Black Talisman and Poison, uh, in case you're interested on that one. Um, I will try and just do some damage with the Atsu. Probably could have uh, been near a wall to get a bit more, but, you know, yeah. <laughs> uh, the first couple of fights with him didn't maybe go as quickly as I would have liked. Um, the third one was much more the way that I wanted it. Um, and it's the way it is with farming. You know, sometimes you're going to get those speed runs where you can just blitz them, and other times they might be a little bit more awkward. Um, basically the essence with farming is to try and do it as quick as you possibly can. Um, it does not matter the weapon you use, it doesn't matter the stance. At the end of the day, farming's farming. You know, you're just going to pretty much be looking to beat that enemy as quickly as possible. Now, with any human, to be honest, I, I find the humans very, very easy in this game. Uh, the only one I found any challenge at all was uh, Sayaka Magochi. He was a bit of a pain, but the rest of them have been very, very simple, I found. I really haven't had any challenge with them, um, which, you know, you kind of think that in, in the Neo games they would be really hard. I think, realistically, as we get the new DLCs, um, or, you know, DLC, and we get the new harder settings, I have a feeling that these are going to get a lot, lot more challenging, but we, we, shall, see. we shall see on that one um, as regards to that. Now, um, I'm going to beat him. There we go. So I run around and I collect the items, um, and as you can see there, I notice that I do not get any smithing text whatsoever. Ah, what a drag. Okay, so basically then, uh, you go onto your menu, you go to settings, and you go to return to title menu. Leave game? Yep, absolutely. Now, you will not keep the loot that you've picked up from him. Uh, that part will not save, so if you do check the loot and you see something really amazing that you wanted to keep, I'd recommend then just continuing on going processing through the level. But if there was nothing that you wanted, uh, nothing important, whatever, then what you can do is you can exit to the main menu, go continue, and what will happen is, is that the game will load up back at the shrine and you'll get to fight him again, which is brilliant. So then you'll get another opportunity without having to do the rest of the level to actually then, of course, um, fight him and gain that chance. And this, like I said, this works with any boss whatsoever. So there are various bosses that drop a lot of smithing text. And to run through the levels and to literally go through absolutely everything uh, would be somewhat of a nightmare, a very time-consuming process to pretty much then not guarantee getting anything, which is, as I said, is, is horrible. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna um, literally I do this um, a third time as well, just to to show you like literally what you can do, um, and it's really handy. I mean, like it's just one of those little things that not everybody knows about. Surprisingly, um, I don't know whether it's an exploit is necessarily meant to be there, um, but at the end of the day. You might as well take advantage, you know. Um, it is definitely something that's very, very useful. Um, especially if you want to like look for smithing text. If there's a particular mystic art or weapon you use, uh, weapon type, should I say, um, or a mystic art that you definitely want, I would recommend, you know, just going on to Google, just having a look, and just seeing what enemy or boss would give it to you, and then just farming them. Um, you know, this makes a difference. Now, as you can see, yet again, I beat him. Um, I go round, I look at all the items, didn't get a smithing text from him. Right, okay, I'm going to try it one more time to see if I can be lucky for this video. Now, as I said, it's just literally return to the title screen, exit out, check your items if you want. I mean, in my case, I knew I wasn't going to get anything that I wanted, so I was just like, right, okay, I'll exit and get back straight back in. Um, but, you know, if you are at a stage where you are still checking gear, you want to see if there's... If you're a new game plus, then I'd always recommend just quickly checking everything, especially for inheritables, because there are 
um, white inheritables and red inheritables and those are invaluable and they turn up on armor as well if you're on the first run through like myself at the moment I'm nearly there to be fair um, then I wouldn't bother uh, there's probably very unlikely to be stuff that you need but if you want to check it then do uh, so yeah so here we go this is the final run through that I'll do um, I did do actually a test on him in a minute which I think uh, didn't really succeed because uh, unfortunately it doesn't count him as uh, being started which is really annoying uh, I tried to actually slot him I think it was just to see whether it would work before I fought him and it goes through <laughs> so it didn't work but you know it's, it was worth a try um, so yeah uh, but in that case then it's just literally like any boss it's just going to be then just doing the damage as you can see this is a much more successful farming run I don't know whether he just didn't block more to be honest actually um, but then I just finish him off with uh, the gunshots um, unfortunately I didn't get lucky in uh, getting um, any smithing techs off him in the last one but you know hey it is one of those things it's worth so that is it for me so uh, hopefully you found the video uh, helpful and informative uh, if you did drop a like and a comment below and if you want to subscribe for future content that would be great I will be posting future videos but otherwise that's it for me you take care cheers now bye bye